former governor Andrew Cuomo. Because, you know, uh, apparently he is taking issue with the investigation that was done by New York Attorney General Letitia James. Yeah, her holding a household accountable is something that he did not like. And so he has filed a very lengthy complaint against James. Former Governor Andrew Cuomo filed that uh, multiple page state ethics complaint on Tuesday against the New York State Attorney General, accusing her of deliberately mishandling the investigation that found that he had sexually harassed multiple former and current government employees. Now, this complaint in his is really a reflection of his latest effort to rehabilitate his image and really to lash back at his attackers after he resigned in disgrace amid multiple scandals and the threat of impeachment last year. Now, two weeks ago, Mr. Cuomo emailed a Daily News opinion article to his supporters that raised questions about some of the claims made against him and suggested that he may have been the victim of an excess of hashtag MeToo movement zeal. That's really cute, of course, because with these, it's a thought that it's everyone else and not them, I'm sure. Well, Cuomo's been truly investing in multiple efforts to restore his reputation. For example, he won a court battle uh, when a judge ruled that Mr. Cuomo would not have to turn over the proceeds of his $5.1 million book deal that a state ethics board was seeking to recoup. Uh, Mr. Cuomo spent millions of dollars earlier this year on television ads that sought to rehabilitate his image. He briefly reemerged from the political wilderness when he spoke at a handful of black churches stoking short-lived speculation that he would attempt to a political comeback this year, though he has since kept a relatively low profile. Yeah, that's always interesting, too, um, trying to stoke the black community to come back when, as I can tell you, that 99 percent of the time where there's sexism, there's also racism. So, uh, yeah, I think we could dig into that and see that this individual, Mr. Cuomo, uh, may also be leaning in that direction. And that shouldn't be coming to the black community and the black community shouldn't be fooled by him. But let's go back to that ethics complaint that was just filed. It was 48 pages and it was filed on Tuesday today. It lays out many of the arguments and grievances that Mr. Cuomo has previously voiced about the investigation, including his contention that the final report was misleading and inaccurate, omitted evidence that favored him and was wielded for political purposes by Ms. James, who briefly ran for governor following Mr. Cuomo's uh, resignation. Well, the committee overseeing Cuomo's complaint, this is how it could play out. It could dismiss the complaint because of insufficient evidence, move to investigate the charges, or even initiate disciplinary proceedings. Disciplinary actions could range from a confidential or public letter of admonishment to censure, disbarment, or suspension from practicing law. You know, these uh, potential consequences for Letitia James, the attorney general, they are completely and totally, as far as I'm concerned, outrageous. And so this isn't something that necessarily should be uh, dove into. Uh, but Cuomo still has some powerful people in positions of power. So I'm sure in filing this ethics complaint, it is part of this rehabilitate his image, as well as potentially throw off the attorney general who's busy going after important people like Steve Bannon and Donald Trump and shouldn't be disturbed in this time. Uh, I really actually think it would be better for Cuomo to find employment elsewhere and realize that he is not necessarily cut out for leadership. Uh, perhaps he could spend his time working on not being a but that's just my opinion. What is your thought, Jessica? Attorney General James opened this investigation with plenty of evidence already public. Multiple women had already complained about what Cuomo had done. We now know the identity of one of these aides, Brittany Camiso, who just over a year ago came forth with this story where Cuomo allegedly groped her. We now know that it's very likely that he did. And the aide told him his behavior would get us in trouble. And then Cuomo said, I don't care, and shut the door and groped her breasts. And then a month later, she said that Cuomo asked her to cover up what she had done. I mean, there's so many stories and there's so much evidence. And to call this Me Too movement zeal, women don't gain anything but justice and a lot of threats when they come forth against powerful men with these allegations. And if there's one thing we can be certain, it's that he's guilty. Because I remember when these allegations hit the press, there was this photo that's been buried, but you can still find it, where it's Cuomo walking outside of the governor's mansion, broad daylight, wrapped in a blanket in a suit on the phone holding a Bud Light Platinum. That photo in itself is enough to tell me that I'm sorry, Cuomo is guilty. 
An innocent man is not in broad daylight drinking Bud Platinum on the phone looking concerned, wrapped in a blanket. I mean, come on, he could quietly retire. The fact that he is trying to fight this goes to show that he's delusional and all he cares about is his personal power. And instead, what's going to happen now is going to we're going to rehash all of the evidence again. And as far as I'm concerned as well, uh, you know, James would be a better fit for governor than Cuomo was. It was not a power grab to investigate the sexual harassment allegations. If anything, she said, you know what, I'm going to have to do it myself. Uh, and more respect to her. The fact that he's trying to frame this as a political move is disgusting. Just to show he has no sense of justice. No, not at all. And, you know, just this audacity, it is surreal. This thought that he should be able to come back in office when he resigned. Uh, you know, it's just, it's it's absolutely absurd, but it is nothing that I would say is uh, off the mark for because it's this thought of entitlement that it's okay if I acted this way. There is no problem with that. I am entitled to engage in this behavior. And this whole push to lie, lie, lie and cover what it is also hinging on is that the patriarchy is willing to go ahead and put on its Clydesdale blinders and just pretend that none of it happened and pretend that all of the witnesses didn't come forward. All of this pretending is just a way to bolster the patriarchy. And Cuomo knows it. He is hinging his, uh, he's hanging his hat on it and really hinging on this thought that people will allow him to come back into society and that there will be no issue, even though uh, what women who work with him are not safe around him. And as again, I will say, sexism, racism, they are ride or dies. So if you are a person of color out there, or I should just, I want to say a non-white person out there, you should really think twice before backing Cuomo in any way, because I can assure you that what has yet to come out would probably come out given how it works when it comes to sexism and racism. But again, that's just me.